What is going on guys? Nick here with Angling Attic Pacific Northwest. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time. If not, welcome back. One of the things that I wanted to cover was just your basic float fishing setup for these spectacular little jigs here. One tried and true method that has been uh, proven time and time again to get out there and catch steelhead. So let's get started. So obviously we're going to be float fishing. So the first thing that we need to do is get this bobber set up. Uh, on our line here. So I would imagine at this point, many of you have already been out there and have uh, figured out how to do this. So we're gonna cover it really quick today. So basically we're just gonna need to get our bobber stop on there first, which is what we have right here in that hand. So what we're gonna wanna do is take our tag in and we're gonna run it right through that straw. What we wanna make sure that we're doing is taking this thread and we're pulling it up our line and we're taking that uh, straw piece and we're pulling it off that tag end. You don't wanna do the opposite way. So we're gonna pull that up, take that guy off, and we're just gonna move that bobber stop out of the way. And here a little bit later, we will uh, cut off those tag ends. All right, so we've got our bobber stop on. The next thing that we're gonna need is a little bead to put on there. So we're gonna take again that tag end and we're just gonna thread this little tiny bead onto our line, slide that guy out of the way. Which brings us to our bobbers. I've brought it up in other videos. There's multiple bobbers that are out there, but two of my favorites still to this day are these Bomax. And a lot of the times when I'm fishing jigs, I'm typically using about a half ounce size. So I think today, since I've been doing the uh, other one in these other videos, we are gonna go with this uh, clear float here. You're just gonna wanna make sure again that you're using the tag end and that you're coming from the top down. All right, so now we've got our bobber on there. We're gonna to wanna to grab one more bead and we're gonna throw that guy on there. So one thing I always do when I'm float fishing because you do not want to learn the hard way and this one simple little tip or technique uh, can go a long way. So typically here it'd be throwing on our weight. So what we're gonna do instead first is we're gonna use one of these bobber stops that'll come with uh, your packages of bobbers when you get them most of the time we're going to take one of those and we're going to slide it up on our line <clears throat> just below our bobber and that's going to end up sitting just above our knot and our weight so i always just call this a fail safe this way if we end up snagging up down on the bottom and uh, things decide to break on us i'm sure a lot of you've been standing there on the bank and uh, seeing a bobber or two come floating by so this little tip right here will actually a lot of the times help keep that set up and uh, from floating away so you can uh, maintain that bobber which nowadays seems to be getting more and more expensive that is for sure so we're just going to get that bobber stop up out of the way so we've got some space to work here with our uh, braided line so now we got two different approaches we can take here when it comes to our weight either we can just tie on our inline weight there what we can actually do is take one of these egg sinkers, run it up our line, and then tie on one of these uh, little barrel swivels there. But I think for this, we're just gonna use your regular uh, inline weight right there. That is a half ounce size, which is gonna go with our half ounce bobber. And I believe we've got a, a quarter ounce nightmare jig right there. So again, since we're using a braided line, I always like to use the polymer knot just because I feel like it's a, a rather strong knot. It has yet to fail me, so it is one that I'm always, always coming back to. So, there we go. So now we've got our bobber set up, and at this point we can pretty much take that bobber stop, run it down. And then before we cut off our tag ends on our bobber stop, we're gonna wanna make sure that thing's nice and tight. And I always leave myself just a little bit to be able to maybe grasp onto uh, in the worst case scenario this thing decides to uh, loosen up on me. So now what we're gonna wanna do is come down here to our leader. And a lot of the times when I'm out steelhead fishing, I'm in between 15 and 20 pounds. So here we've got this soft steel instinct fluorocarbon in a, a 15 pounds. So we're gonna pull about three and a half feet off of this guy here. And then using whatever knot you prefer to be able to tie, uh, I just do the uh, straight up fisherman's knot right here. All right, that tag end is not as important, but I always like keeping it uh, clean and pulling those guys off. Now that we've got that leader on there, we're gonna just basically pick 
which jig it is that you're going to want to be using. And there are definitely plenty of brands, plenty of colors, all different fabulous things out there to uh, be able to choose from. But again, time and time again, I find myself coming back to this straight up nightmare pattern. So again, you're just gonna take that, tie it on the end of your line using whatever knot that you feel most comfortable with. All right, cut off our little tag in and that is gonna be it. We've got our bobber set up. We've got our stopper up there so we can make our depth adjustments. We've got our inline weight in there running down to our leader, which is running down to the old nightmare fish killer. So that setup right there will get you out there and get you uh, started in the right direction. We will back it up really quick and we're gonna throw on this uh, other setup using the egg sinker, uh, this barrel swivel and uh, these uh, little beads here. So you can at least see that another way that you're able to set this up. All right, so now we are back to just where we've got our bobber stop, bead, bobber, and another uh, bead on the bottom there. We're actually going to take off this little bead. It's really kind of up to you whether you want to leave that one on there or not. And we're going to come to this half ounce egg sinker and I'm just going to feed that guy through. Now that we've got that on there, we're going to go back to that bead. Slide that bead on. All right, so now we are to that barrel swivel. And again, since we are using this braid, we're going to go with that Palomar knot. If you guys aren't familiar with uh, this knot, I'm sure there are plenty of uh, videos out there that will we'll cover it for you. It's actually one of my favorite for uh, fishing with braid, actually. All right, we'll cut off this tag in just so it looks nice and pretty. So basically all we've done is replace that inline weight with this egg sinker here. Now I think one of the advantages of that egg sinker is it's able to uh, fall freely as opposed to uh, being on the line here. So if you want to get your gear down a little bit faster, in my opinion, uh, that is the way to do it. So obviously from here, now we all we'd have to do is just go back and uh, tie our jig back on there and we're ready to fish. So just two different ways to go about uh, throwing a jig on there and getting out there and trying to find yourself some steelhead. So if this video has helped you out at all, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. But as always, you guys, uh, best of luck to all of you, and I hope to see you out on the water.